General Idris, thank you for welcome to the program. Can you tell me what your reaction is to what the U.S. says it's going to do? Have you been told what you're going to be given? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the first step is very welcomed, and we are looking for the next step. Uh, but uh, till now, nobody uh, told us uh, what we are going to receive. What we need really is weapons and ammunition, and especially anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles. And we hope that our friends in the United States they will not leave us alone facing the, uh, the, the, the fighters of Hezbollah, the Iranian fighters, and the Iraqi fighters, and the air jet of the regime who are now uh, trying to recapture Aleppo and uh, the suburbs, uh, suburbs of Aleppo. And after what happened in Al-Qusayr, we are in most need for the help for weapons and ammunition. The first step is very important, and uh, we hope that the decision will be taken soon to support the Syrian opposition with uh, arms, with weapons, with ammunition. General Idris, so I hear you saying that you welcome what the U.S. has announced so far. What we're hearing is just perhaps they want to start by sending some machine guns, some ammunition. Is that going to make a material difference right now? Where are you in the fight for Aleppo? Uh, the situation in Aleppo is very, very dangerous. There are more than 5,000 Hezbollah fighters around Aleppo, uh, supported with, uh, Iran by Iranian fighters, by the Air Force of the regime, and uh, the Free Syrian Army is uh, armed with only light weapons like Kalashnikov and some kinds of traditional uh, anti-aircraft machine guns uh, like uh, machine gun 14.5. And now, uh, when our American friends are going to send us, to send us some traditional uh, weapons and a little ammunition, that will not change a lot on the ground. And that means that uh, they are, uh, we, we will be alone uh, to face the army uh, units and uh, the uh, fighters of Hezbollah. Uh, and that means for our people who are suffering since more than three years, uh, that our friends will really not going uh, uh, to, to help us. So, and uh, we don't know. Yes. Sorry, General Idris, if, if this doesn't change on the ground, are you going to go to these talks? I know they haven't even announced a date yet, but the idea of peace talks, do you think you'll go to them? Uh, uh, honestly and frankly, if the balance on the ground doesn't change, there will be no Geneva conference. There will, there will be no peace talks. That will be meaningless because uh, Bashar... Uh, feel uh, now that he is powerful and uh, he don't have to give the opposition anything. And uh, if he go, goes to Geneva, he will deceive the international community. He will go to waste time and not to give the opposition anything. General Selim Idris, thank you so much for joining me from Turkey. Thank you. Thank you.